Are German car giants BMW and Volkswagen ready to surrender their dominance to China's new $546 billion investment in the automobile industry? Get ready for a heart-pounding adventure as we delve into China's astounding $546 billion investment in the automobile industry. Brace yourself because what lies ahead will leave BMW and Volkswagen shaken to their core. This isn't your run-of-the-mill report. It's an electrifying expose that reveals the hidden truths behind China's ascent to power while ushering in a thrilling new chapter for the auto industry. Be ready to witness a seismic shift that defies expectations and sets the stage for an awe-inspiring era of innovation. Hold on tight as we embark on this exhilarating journey, unraveling the mysteries and unveiling the dawn of a revolutionary automotive landscape. German and American automakers have dominated the automotive sector for many years, creating some of the most recognizable and effective cars in history. However, a whole new fleet of cutting-edge cars have just been unveiled by Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers, so they are now facing a seismic upheaval. The time has arrived for Chinese businesses to dominate the automobile industry, as a result of China investing billions of dollars in the EV sector. In fact, they have already outperformed domestic rivals in terms of revenues, outpacing industry giants like BMW and Volkswagen. China has historically been an importer of automotive technology, as opposed to nations like the U.S., Germany, and Italy who have long relied on the auto industry to drive their economies, but no longer. The potential consequences of China now having a presence in the sector due to the advent of EVs are startling. It may seem as though China's success in the electric vehicle sector came out of nowhere, but it was actually the culmination of years of careful planning and investments in renewable energy. China has made a startling $546 billion investment in its green energy program while the globe struggles with energy issues. As a result, China now dominates the solar energy industry and produces the majority of the solar panels used worldwide. China is setting trends for the future by building solar power facilities in its desert regions. China is also preparing for the future. This comprehensive strategy, which is fast altering the global automotive industry and displacing established competitors like BMW and Volkswagen, includes several other sub-plans, of which electric vehicles are just one. Do you want to know why this project will change the world? We will explain in a little bit. China has strategically invested in the production of electric and hybrid vehicles in an effort to acquire an edge over rivals in emerging technologies rather than compete in the production of conventional gasoline-powered vehicles. With this new industry, China has the chance to prove its mettle and prosper, and it has done just that. Due to their superior technology and innovation, Chinese electric vehicle producers have overtaken more established competitors like BMW and Volkswagen. According to current statistics, domestic Chinese EV manufacturer sales have overtaken those of multinational corporations like BMW and Volkswagen. China's investment in the EV market has changed the game, in my opinion. It has made significant investments in the clean energy program, and its plan to control emerging technology has been successful. Due to their ability to develop cost-effective and efficient electric vehicles, Chinese domestic EV manufacturers now have a competitive advantage. These EVs have outperformed those made by global juggernauts, thanks to their striking designs and impressive performance, turning China into a major player in the automotive sector. So as we proceed further and analyze the implications of this revolution by Chinese EV auto industry on the global EV giants, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below to stay tuned with us, as we always thrive to bring the most valuable information for you. Now let's continue. Chinese EV manufacturer BYD experienced a startling 69% increase in sales in a single year, and now represents 11% of the country's whole automotive market demonstrating unequivocally that indigenous firms are assuming the lead. On the other hand, multinational corporations are finding it difficult to compete. What is the key to their success, then? It all comes down to the Chinese government's unwavering support for the EV sector, which it manifests in the form of subsidies for domestic producers and the use of its close relations with foreign countries like Australia to get cheap raw materials. With these benefits, it should come as no surprise that indigenous businesses are prospering, while multinational corporations like Volkswagen are left behind. With hundreds of billions of dollars invested to achieve a competitive advantage, China's long-term investment in the EV business has paid off. 
China has been able to transfer this advantage to all of its domestic businesses, including BYD, by putting a priority on laying a solid foundation first. Due to the critical role that batteries play in EVs, BYD, once a top battery manufacturer in China, has now expanded to create EVs. This provides Chinese EV firms a substantial competitive edge over foreign rivals like Tesla, BMW, and Volkswagen, which get their batteries from other nations. For instance, Tesla contracts with a Japanese business to supply its batteries, making its entire supply chain susceptible in the event that the Japanese businesses cease making batteries. However, domestic Chinese EV producers are self-sufficient and do not experience these problems. Domestic enterprises in China can make EVs more effectively and affordably, since they have access to all the raw materials they require at lower prices and can produce those materials there. International EV manufacturers like Tesla, BMW, and Volkswagen are now at a disadvantage because of this, since Chinese EV manufacturers are currently monopolizing the market because of their efficiency and self-sufficiency. Domestic EV manufacturers from China are quickly dominating the worldwide market, with NIO emerging as a significant competitor to Tesla, the multi-billion dollar EV manufacturer. While BYD leads the Chinese auto sector, NIO has its sights set on increasing production and opening plants overseas in nations like Germany, the Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. This is only one illustration of Chinese vigorous campaign to free its indigenous EV companies, both inside and outside the country. In fact, BYD alone accounts for the majority of the EV market in China, with other local businesses not far behind. With this type of pace, it should come as no surprise that foreign manufacturers are feeling the pressure and rushing to catch up with China's electrification agenda. One nation stands out as a leading player on the expanding global electric market, China. Chinese domestic EV manufacturers have a definitive advantage over foreign firms like Tesla, BMW, and Volkswagen because of their extensive network of raw material suppliers and processing facilities. Consider NIO which is expanding its factories on the global market due to its better leverage of obtaining all raw materials conveniently and affordably. Due to China's close relations with all nations, domestic EV manufacturers may easily obtain whatever raw material they require. Furthermore, all of the firms that process these raw materials are located in China. Therefore, foreign EV manufacturers frequently depend on China for these processed materials. This provides domestic Chinese automakers with everything they need to build vehicles at incredibly low prices. Due to this advantage, indigenous EV manufacturers in China now control the local market, costing foreign firms like Tesla a lot of money there. Tesla announced significant price reductions on the majority of its vehicles in China in an effort to entice consumers and persuade them to switch from domestic manufacturers. But locally produced EVs continue to be far more affordable due to the accessibility of raw materials at low costs. 40 additional foreign businesses have responded by announcing significant cost-cutting measures, but they are still unable to match the domestic EV producers in China. Contrasted with domestically made EVs, the finished products are simply too pricey. If foreign businesses wish to thrive in the Chinese market, they must reevaluate their tactics in light of this constant danger. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, the proverb advises. If multinational businesses want to prosper, they must, in this instance, adapt to the Chinese market. The ability to produce EVs at low costs give domestic Chinese manufacturers the benefit of generating more income from exports. International businesses like Tesla, BMW, and Volkswagen are now at a disadvantage in the race for EVs as a result. China's deep roots in the EV sector will provide it the ability to cover the whole industry as electric vehicles become the present and the future of the automotive industry. China is advancing with electric mobility while other large corporations stick with internal combustion engines. Due to their profits from gasoline-powered automobiles, several businesses have chosen not to adopt electric vehicles, but this trend is anticipated to change. The United States has also offered subsidies in an effort to discourage China. However, these subsidies are useless due to systemic faults. The U.S. has proposed subsidies for companies producing in North America, but this program has a serious issue as the rest of the globe rushes to switch to electric transportation. No business can afford to pay more for raw materials from the U.S. when they can import them for less money from China. With the largest auto market in the world and a crucial position in the global supply chain, China is currently driving the transition to electric vehicles. 
China's supremacy in the production of electric automobiles is almost certain as other nations follow suit. As we come to the end of this video, the question on everyone's mind must be, what will the future of the automotive industry look like? Will China's massive investment in the industry pay off, or will it fall short of expectations? One thing is for sure, BMW and Volkswagen need to buckle up and prepare for a tough ride ahead. Share your thoughts in the comments section, and let's see what other people think of it. Keep watching for the next adventure, which is coming soon.